Hello there, welcome to lesson 2 of module 4. Now in this lesson, it's going to be a bit of a long one, but I'm covering um, the whole core of actually advertising. Now, what I'm covering is actually your criteria. What are you looking for? What kind of content are you looking for which is suitable to advertise? Okay, now I have already shown you what content to find earlier on, um, but you know, I, I want to refine that. I want to go over it again and I want to just make it clear to you what content can actually be advertised on Facebook now at some points I might actually be repeating myself from the previous video um, but um, you know it's good it's good it's reassurance and it will make you more certain and you are you know on what you're doing and you'll be more clear on what you need to do and what kind of content you need to look for okay so when finding contents there's a few things you want to content there's a few things you want to avoid now the first thing i would say is okay there's there's a lot because it's so vague there's so much but there's some things i know which you will come across every time you look for content and these are the big things and big issues with facebook now what you can also do is and i'll attach a link hopefully to the bottom of this video which would be the facebook advertising policies in that it covers everything you should not promote but I want to cover some ones that you'll probably come across and I want you to know it's a big no-no straight away. So one thing is no cure-related articles, okay? There's no such thing as a cure, okay? When you're doing content, you're not doing such things. And because we're not selling anything, we're not selling no pills, we don't even need to take the risk of um, selling these guys a bloody cure on content, okay? We don't want to promote an article which says, oh, if you read this, I mean, in this article, we are giving away a cure um, for cancer. No, 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 no. <laughs> you do that, you're going to get yourself banned from Facebook. It's very simple. Um... So no cure related articles, no cure to anything, whether it's cancer, whether it's a flu, whether, you know, it's anything. Just don't use that word cure. Second thing is no claims and no promises, okay? What I mean by this is, you know, you're not going to promise anyone anything. You're not going to tell them that once they read this article, they will become rich. You won't say that once you read this article, you will make $300 a day. Um, you will not claim that 10 people read this article and their lives changed um, they became millionaires or you know cancer walked away from them they are cancer free now after reading this article no false claims and no false promises okay content is meant for entertainment purposes we're not here to change people's lives we might uplift them we might motivate and inspire them but we are not here to change their lives we just want good content which has the potential of going viral something people are going to enjoy reading something you yourself would read and would be interested and would share it because of the nature of the content okay no claims no promises no cure related things i mean you know I, I mentioned the cure i should have just put that in with the claims because it is you know it's a claim that oh you know you, you've got the cure to cancer nothing like that and you know just knowing this knowing that there's no claims no promises you'll know from there that all the content uh, i mean you know whenever you find content you look for content you'll just know what not to look for what not to promote and what to promote and obviously if you have any further questions regarding that you just pop your article the content you found into the group and i will just approve or disapprove them okay now the second thing with content is when you find an article you want to be sure that there is a target audience for it okay now what do i mean by this you'd imagine that everything has a target audience but then again let's say you've seen an article you've seen an ad on facebook today and in this advert it says a boy stands outside of the mall you know five hours a day watch what happens next Okay, now there's a video. You click on the ad and there's a video. Okay, and no one knows what's going to happen there. The whole, the way you get people to click on the ad is by creating that um, curiosity by saying, watch what happens next. But who are you going to target? Um, a boy stands outside of the mall five, to five hours a day. Watch what happens next. 
there's, there's no one you can target, is there? You can carry on thinking about it, but there is no target audience for such things, and we see such content every single day. Now you'd wonder, how did these people get them, you know, such content to become viral? That's because they have a viral fan base. Their fan base is of such a nature that they are they're not here to look for cancer articles they're not here to look for gaming articles they're just here for interesting content something which will potentially make them laugh something which could make them um cry something which could make them happy something which would just shock them you know um oh as you know i just mentioned the word shock no none of your content should include the word shock or should it create shock i mean the the word and the idea of shock should not be within the ad okay there's no such thing as shock you will not be saying oh my god i am so shocked after reading this article oh this article is so shocking it is so shocking what this medicine can do none of that the other thing with content do not you know do any defamation of brands do not mention any single brand's name okay whether it's mcdonald's whether it's kfc okay whether it's bmw or mercedes you will not mention brand names okay brand names are risky they're not you know there's so much content out there that you know even if there was a good article on mcdonald's or mercedes you know we do not need to use it because we can find good content in any other niche right Okay, so no defamation of brands, no claims, no promises, okay? Um, and back to what I was saying about finding, you know, a, an audience which, you, you know, you can, there's, there's people you can actually target, certain interests. Now, I gave you the example of a boy standing outside the mall. And, you know, two minutes later, I guarantee that you thought of no interest you could actually target for that. However, now let's say this is one of my articles I've given away in the past. 10 warning signs of prostate cancer you shouldn't ignore. Straight away, you know the target audience because it's in the title. Okay, prostate cancer. <laughs> you see what I did there? 10 warning signs of prostate cancer. And it actually, in the title, I just realized it says men should not ignore. Now, prostate cancer, okay, number one. Men get prostate cancer, okay, number two. Now we know we need to target men. And we need to target the interest of prostate cancer. Now, with the cancer-related um, interest, we can also target other cancers um, related to prostate cancer, let's say. Now, on Facebook, the moment you type in one interest, it gives you a bunch of related interests. And you can keep clicking them. As long as it's within cancer and it's a men's, man's cancer, male cancer, by all means, click it and add it to the audience. You can easily build up an audience from there. But the key is in the title, okay? If you do not see your target audience within the title of the article, that is not an article you should run. As viral as it may be, if you cannot spot a target audience for it, do not run with it. Know your target audience before you upload the article, before you start advertising, all right? So, I mean, I've given the task already for you to find your content. Just review your content and see, does all of this content have a target audience? And if so, then by all means, keep it and let's move on to the next lessons and let's actually start getting some advertisements set up for your content. All right, that's it for this video. I'll see you on the next lesson.